Hey guys, welcome back. A friend recommended Music B, a music player for Windows 11. He said it's really good. I looked over it and now we'll review it together. We'll also see how we can use Music B to listen to online radio, podcasts, and play music from SoundCloud. We are on the Music B website right now, and the address is getmusicb.com. You can download the program by using the download now button. They offer a an installer and a portable edition, which you can keep on an USB drive and just use on different devices. You can see a quick presentation of the program on their website, and you can download skins, plugins, and visualizer themes to use in the program. I'm gonna minimize the browser now, so we can have a look at the actual program. Over here at the top left, you have three lines. If you click on them, you will see these options. You can select the skin over here. Let's try one. Let's see how it looks like. And how the program changes its colors. So this looks really great. But I'm gonna stick with the original because we can see better. So it's better to for instructions. Over here we also have a compact player which looks like this and a mini player which is a little funny because it's so tiny but this is great for example if you want to keep it in a corner while you are working and listen to music and control it. If you want to go back just left click on the little square over here and it will turn, return to the normal view. Over here in file, you can add files to the library. It also has an option to automatically shut down. So either after a few minutes or when the playlist ends, which I find to be a great feature that is so easily accessible. What's worth mentioning over here, let's have a look. The equalizer. If you are looking for an equalizer, left click on the DSP effects and it will show the actual window. Over here we have some presets, for example for pop music, and you can also left click on 15 band to expand, to expand the preset. Let's import some music. Let's see how we can do it. Left click on file and just left click on add files to library after. And you can select music from your device. We already imported these, so they are inside the program. If you want to open a new tab, you can left click on the little plus sign over here, and then you can just select what you want to see. So if we left click on music over here, we will see our music library. And this is the, the music the music that we have on our device. Let's play a few release by Beethoven. I'm gonna double left click on it. And here we can adjust the volume. If you want to add the stop sign, you need to right click and just hover over panel layout. And you have the show stop button over here. I looked for that option for a minute or two. On the left you have the library is sorted by artists. You can view all the music over here. You can click on the letters at the top to sort them. Like I promised, let's have a look at how you can listen to online radio. I'm gonna left click on the plus sign over here and just left click on radio. And this will open the radio tab. Just gonna make the music a little quieter. Here you have some providers of online stations that you can toggle between. We're gonna stay with Shoutcast and just look for country for example and press enter and we'll find some country music stations. What you can also do is left click on the bitrate over here to sort it. If you want a better sound quality select a higher bitrate and if you have a lower bandwidth on your, your device or if you are paying per megabyte, just you can select a, a lower quality station. Let's play the first one from the list. 
so that loaded fairly quickly and we have good sound qualities. This is a great way to have music on your device if you don't have a lot of time to just look for new music. It also offers podcasts. I'm gonna click the plus sign again and left click on podcasts over here at the left. We already added a, a podcast. To do that, to add a podcast, just look for the little podcast button over here at the top left. If you don't see it, just right click and left click on hide on show header menu if it's not showing. Left click on podcasts and then left click on podcast directory over here and just search for something, for example kids and press enter and we have some podcasts over here let's open honeybee bedtime stories left click on subscribe and then left click on close to close the window you can change between the different channels over here and if you want to play a specific episode just double left click and it will open on your device bedtime with mrs honeybee The last feature I want to show you is the SoundCloud search. It's already opened here. You can left click and rearrange the tabs. If you want to search on SoundCloud, just make sure you have the SoundCloud search tab selected and then go over, he go over here at the top right and enter your search term. For example, Ray Charles. And press enter and you will find Re results from the sound SoundCloud website. I'm gonna double left click and play the first song. So I find this a great feature to have music on your computer. And it's good that you have them in, in one place over here in the player. So you don't need to go in the internet and face all the ads. Okay guys, this is a short presentation of Music P. I find it to be very interesting. It offers a lot of advanced features if that's what you need, but it's also good for the average user because it offers content so so easily available. For like I mentioned, radio podcasts and the SoundCloud search. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you find it helpful. Subscribe for future tips.